I'm going to tell you a little story about a man and his wife, and I want you to think about what you would do in this situation and what the moral thing is to do. And um, in the next video, I'll explain a bunch of different perspectives on it. So to start, there's a man and his wife, a man and his lovely wife, and they are they are adequately wealthy, but they're not particularly rich. And she comes down with some sort of disease. And it doesn't really matter what it is, if it's cancer or an infection or what, but I'll draw purple splotches on her. This is the disease that she has. And so this guy takes her to the doctor, or to the doctor slash druggist. For simplicity, we'll say it's one place. They both go. And he diagnoses the problem. They know what sickness she has. They, they, they give her a name, and they give her a prescription for, for some pills that will heal her right up, no problem. Um, except that they cost uh, some huge amount of money, let's say $7,000 for a bottle. And that's more than these guys can afford. If they sold their house or something, they might be able to get it. If uh, if the husband were to rob a bank, he might be able to get it. But, you know, let's just make it $17,000, even more impossible. He'd really have to go way overboard and do something crazy in order to get this amount of money. So, so he tries to deal with the druggist. He tries to say, hey, is there any way you could give me a break? Is there any way that I could get it a little cheaper or a payment plan? You know, I can... I can uh, take out take out a little loan from you, or, or uh, pay over time, monthly arrangement, something like that. And they say, no, absolutely not. Um, the The ingredients for this for this medicine are so rare that I, you know, I, it's really hard to make, and I have to go I have to go to some other country and dig in the soil for uh, for the certain mushroom in order to make it or something. It's it's there's a reason it's seventeen thousand dollars, and uh, if I if I do anything like that for you, I'm going to go out of business. I, I don't have it you know, I don't have it ready. It's going to be a big problem for me as a druggist to, to do any sort of arrangement like that. Yeah, he says, I really need the money up front. So the question is, what should this husband do? Step into the shoes for a moment of this guy, because the, you know, the wife is too sick to really take any action. She's, she's just bedridden at this point. Um, so are you going to rob a bank and get the money? Are you going to steal it? Are you going to, well, let's say he's already begged all his friends and family and he's, you know, he, he said, hey, can you lend me a, a couple bucks? I, I really need to save my wife. And, and the most he's gotten is like, you know, $300 or something. He hasn't gotten far at all going that route because no one else has money either. So are you going to rob a bank? Are you going to steal it from the drugstore, bring it back for her? I'll draw my arrow back. Uh, are you just going to go and steal it? Because he, say he has one bottle ready. The druggist has one bottle sitting on the shelf or sitting in the safe or something, if it costs that much. And, you know, the, the problem is he doesn't want to make another bottle in case somebody else gets sick because it is a contagious disease after all. Uh, so I is it morally right to steal it to save your wife? Is it morally right to go steal it from the bank? Is it morally right to just let your wife die? Are you just gonna are you just gonna let her go because because if you're opposed to stealing and you don't have any other options, is it just oh too bad? Is it yeah, um, is that what you would do in this situation? So go ahead and uh, think about that real hard. Uh, think of every angle. I I tried to uh, to eliminate all of the really easy possibilities by saying he couldn't borrow money and all that stuff. Um, so I might have left a loophole, but hopefully, if I if I told the story correctly, there's no easy solution. And so go ahead and watch the next video, and I'll explain to you Kohlberg's moral uh, moral ways of thinking of, of different perspectives on this problem.